there is a lot of things that are going on in this latest update of Borang. One of it, now you can submit form that require valid Gmail account where if you go to your form and if you see this, just tick the checkbox. It will just work. You don't need to use any special method here. And also for the randomizer, there is a slightly change in the way how it works. Previously, you need to click on the answer, refresh the page, and then click on the randomize button. But now you don't need to refresh. You just need to, for example, for this multiple choice question, click one of these and then click randomize. It will just work. No need to refresh. The next one is for checkboxes. Previously, you need to check one, but you can't check more than one. And then you click and then you refresh and then you click randomizer. But now the behavior is different. Whatever that you check here will be randomized. So that means if you don't check chicken, it will ignore chicken. It will not randomize chicken. So this gives you a little bit more power on how you want to randomize your question. So click randomize, no need to refresh. So this one, nothing special about this. Click next. And if you notice, randomizer now works for multiple page form. Previously, it only works for single page form, but now you can do with multiple page form. So for this question, it's the same as previous question, choose one, click randomize. You can also click here, doesn't matter, and then click next. And for these checkboxes, it's the same as previous, choose which one that you want to randomize. Click randomize, and for this question, nothing special. And now I will show you that we have zero response. When I submit it, let's say I submit 10, click OK. Now we have submit 10 responses. And this question, we get 10 responses. And in this email area where I censor it, it will show the same email address for all of this because the email address that we use to spam is using your email account, your Gmail account. So for the response, uh, nothing special here. It's just the same as previous. But I want to mention that if the form owner set this in their setting, limit to one response, you can't do anything. You will just submit one and no more than that. Okay. So the ability to spam form that requires sign in using valid Gmail account only works without this. And you know, when they select verify, but they don't click this, it only works for that. So I think that's all for this update. I think it's a huge update where a lot of things going on and maybe some people will be confused on how checkboxes works now, but I hope it clears those confusions and thank you.